Western Kentucky is on the path toward receiving a second area code next year. This presentation explains the next steps in the process and what they mean for phone customers in the affected area during the transition. This transition extends from August 2013 to February 2014 and is known as the permissive dialing period. The transition period affects all customers with numbers using area code 270, which covers the western portion of the state. Customers in other area codes are not affected. NANPA is the organization that tracks the demand for new phone numbers and allocates blocks of numbers to telecommunication providers. Last year, NANPA notified the Kentucky Public Service Commission that a second area code would be needed in western Kentucky by early 2014 due to a projected shortage of available numbers in area code 270. The PSC, which is responsible for creating new area codes, conducted a review which included extensive opportunities for public comment. In December, in a decision that was based in large part on public input, the PSC decided to add the new area code by creating an overlay. That means that area code 364 will eventually share the same geographic footprint with area code 270. What has produced the current need for a new area code? The principal factors driving number exhaustion are population growth and new economic activity, and the demand for new numbers for internet applications, wireless phones, and other wireless communication devices. For the last decade, overlays have been the favored option for creating new area codes nationwide. An overlay simply places a new area code in the same footprint as an existing area code, thus superimposing the new code on the old one. Numbers using the new code are not distributed until necessary, so there is no set date on which calls begin to be made using the new area code. However, there is a set date on which the new code becomes available for use. Area code 364 will be the first overlay in Kentucky. Overlays have become the standard method of creating new area codes in recent years and are likely to be used when new area codes are needed in Kentucky in the future. While overlays are now common in large urban areas, they are also in use in more rural areas similar to western Kentucky. Overlays have the advantage of being least disruptive to current customers since all current numbers in an area code remain unchanged. Everyone with an area code 270 number can keep that number for as long as they want. That means that there are no costs for customers to change any materials bearing their phone numbers. Overlays also have the advantage of being easier for telephone companies to implement technically, so there tend to be fewer problems with the new area code. However, an area code overlay does require dialing additional numbers. With two area codes occupying the same geographic space, Telephones within the same area may have different area codes. The only way to differentiate them is by dialing the area code numbers. That means the 10-digit dialing of local calls is required. The 10-digit dialing requirement will take effect on a date certain, even though numbers with area code 364 won't be assigned until necessary. In order to ease the transition to a new area code, there is an interim step known as the permissive dialing period. The permissive dialing period begins August 3, 2013. It lasts six months. It will help customers prepare for the start of mandatory 10-digit dialing of local calls on February 3, 2014, in part by giving them time to get into the habit of dialing 10 digits on local calls. During the permissive dialing period, all current dialing patterns will remain in place. However, customers who wish to switch to the new dialing patterns may do so calls will be connected either way. Beginning August 3rd, local calls with an area code 270 may be dialed using either 7 or 10 digits, that is, with or without the area code. Note that dialing 1 for local calls will not be necessary under any circumstance. Local calls will not become long-distance calls. If you live near the border of area code 270 and are able to make local calls to certain numbers outside the area code without dialing that area code, you may continue to do so during the permissive dialing period. Or you can choose to add the area code without dialing 1. It will remain a local call either way. Some customers currently are able to place long distance calls within area code 270 by simply dialing 1 plus the number without dialing the area code. Such calls will still be connected during the permissive dialing period. They also will be connected if area code 270 is dialed as well. 
There are no changes to long distance calls to numbers outside area code 270. They will continue to require dialing 1 plus the area code plus the number. The permissive dialing period is intended to allow customers to become accustomed to the new dialing patterns. They have six months to get used to dialing the area code on all calls. It is also an opportunity to reprogram phones and other devices with 10 digit numbers. This includes everything from handsets on landline phones to complex commercial phone systems. Note that although most wireless telephones are already programmed to use 10 digit dialing automatically, numbers that have been programmed in manually using 7 digits will need to be changed. The permissive dialing period also allows telecommunication providers ample time to reprogram and test their systems in preparation for mandatory 10 digit dialing. This will help facilitate the change in February. One of the most important tasks during the permissive dialing period falls on anyone who uses telephones for critical functions involving health or safety. Emergency management agencies or others who use reverse 911 or other outbound dialing should use the permissive dialing period to prepare and test their systems. Phone-based security systems and medical alert systems also need to be prepared and tested well in advance of the mandatory date so that any problems can be detected and addressed. The permissive dialing period will not serve its purpose unless customers use it to prepare for the arrival of mandatory 10-digit dialing in February 2014. Here is who to contact for more information.